All right, so here we are now in your Bio 160 human biology class uh, for either this semester or a future semester. It will look similar. And we are going to go through the modules tab. So in the previous video, I had already gone through a lot of this introductory information, the general course information or materials. Um, again, here is your syllabus for the Bio 160, which looks similar in appearance to the one that I went through in the first video there. Again, your syllabus for 160 in .doc version and PDF version. You can look at or preview the document and then watch the playlist um, going through the syllabus. Uh, in the introduction to Canvas videos, which is where you should have chosen to watch this video, and then all of these things that we went through in the previous video. So what's different um, in this course compared to the other course and why we have this third video that's specific to this course is how the assignments are set up for the class. So these are the assignments for this first week. This first week, what I have done is I have set up assignments that will kind of give you an idea of how you will be submitting assignments in future weeks. Again, so this is to kind of get the hang of everything, get comfortable with the class, get comfortable with how you're going to be submitting things and when things are due. And then next week, we'll be focusing on actual material uh, for the course. So here is our, our general course information assignments and then additional or helpful materials. And these are all of the assignments that are due each week. So I want to scroll down to our unit one, which is the second week of the class, just so you can kind of see it's grayed out here because I don't have access to that yet. I'll talk about that in a moment, but I want you to see how this is structured and this is how it'll be structured each week. So you have your introduction to the human body lectures header. So the header is the lectures for whatever unit it is that we are working on or a subunit. So this is where you're going to click on the page and watch the lecture videos for the week. Then we have our assignment section. So each week you will have notes assignments, a homework assignment, a lab assignment, and then a quiz assignment. And I do go over all of these in the syllabus video. <clears throat> I just want you to see what it looks like here in Canvas. And then I have the additional helpful material section where I will post different links to different websites or images that might be helpful or videos that might be helpful. And also this is where students and you all adding things to the helpful material section will allow me to keep filling this section up so that all of you have things to use moving forward. So each section or each week will include this breakdown and then also will include a study guide for that specific subunit. So a subunit in this case means the human body, intro to the human body. This subunit would be chemistry, and you can see the same thing. So this is week three, and then you can see the chemistry lecture videos, the four assignments, and then any helpful materials, as well as a study guide. So <clears throat> the reason that this is blacked out right now is because there's a prerequisite to opening this module. The prerequisite for this one is to complete the previous module. So in order to access unit one, you need to have completed these assignments. Okay, so in this case, I did specifically make it be to complete the syllabus quiz, because remember that the syllabus quiz does require Respondus Lockdown Browser and the webcam, and I want to make sure that everybody has completed that before we move into the semester. So you need to have completed the syllabus quiz, which includes downloading those programs and using those programs once you have submitted this quiz, then you'll have access to the unit one material. Um, so even if you complete um, these assignments, you still have four assignments for this week, even if you completed them all on Monday, then this would open up for you and you would have access to it. The way that I have it structured throughout the semester is similar every week. So in order to access the next week, you need to have completed all of the work from the previous week. Once you have submitted those, you see there's a little submit next to each of these. These are things that you must submit to be able to unlock the next, next module. So for this one, you have to submit all four of these assignments. What that unlocks is it unlocks the study guide for you, and it also unlocks the next module material. So if you do not complete these assignments, the next week, I will manually open the next module, but you will not have access to the study guide. You only get access to the study guide if you turn in each of these assignments. Once you turn in each of these assignments, then you'll get access to the study guide. 
Now that said, if you get all the way to the end of the week and you know that you're not going to be able to complete the assignments, if you do submit a blank assignment uh, for the assignments, that will still be a submission. And then you'll have access to the study guide at the end of the week. Um, so once I have made this available um, at the end of the week, if you do that, you can have that access. Um, however, you will not have that access ahead of time. So if we go back up here, I want to take a look at the assignments and how to submit the assignments just using this first week as an example. So this first week for our notes, now since this is just our general information, at this time you don't have specific lectures that you need to be watching. Um, so I do say in future weeks you'll be submitting notes based on the assigned chapters or the assigned lectures. Um, in this case, you're going to complete this assignment. So in this, this week, in order to become used to the assignments for the semester and how to submit them, you're going to be doing this, which is basically writing out a couple of sentences on how you're going to approach the semester. So you'll read through this, make sure that you um, do it appropriately, you know, type it all out. And then once you have done that, you will want to click on Submit Assignment. So this is how you'll be submitting any assignments. By clicking Submit Assignment, it opens up down here where you'll upload a file. This is just like having an attachment on an email, so you'll choose the file. This will open up to where it'll have access to your computer, and then you can just click which file you'd like to attach, and then you click Attach, and then you submit the assignment. You can also access your Office 365, your SC4 Microsoft Office access here, and click a document and choose a document that way. Make sure that you click Submit Assignment, and then, as I will say over and over again, you want to make sure that after you've submitted assignments, you see that it's attached. It'll show what you have attached here. And then what you want to do is log out, close everything down, open everything back up, come back in, and make sure that you do have an assignment attached, and then click on the assignment, scroll through it, and make sure that that document that you have attached is exactly what you intended on attaching. Okay. Um, sometimes students will... Uh, click on attach and click on submit and then something happens to their internet for example and then it doesn't attach and then they don't check and then they don't have an assignment and then they don't get a grade. Well they get a grade but it's a zero. So make sure that you double check and then sometimes students will often see that something's attached but then what they'll do on accident is they will have attached the blank file that they downloaded that they then completed but saved as another name and then they accidentally upload the blank file rather than the completed file and in that case as well they would get a zero because they did not submit their actual work. Now in both of those cases yes you will get a zero if you do not submit the correct thing uh, even if you meant to or had it done but keep in mind that that's why I also give, and you'll see this in the syllabus, some free passes. You get two for the semester. So if you do make a mistake like that, you can always use a free pass. All right, so we're going to go back. That just says, by the way, you didn't do anything, and I say that's okay. So that's your, quote, notes assignment for the week. Then you'll have your homework assignment for the week. In this case... <clears throat> For your homework assignment, you have these three things that you need to complete. I purposely had you do three different types of files or kind of inputs so that you can work out how you're going to approach putting everything into a file, into one single file. So that's why I noted that here again. So everything needs to be in one file. And I go over this in the syllabus as well. So here you have a screenshot that you need to take. And it has to be a screenshot. Um, you'll write a couple of sentences, and then you'll handwrite something and take a photo of it. And all three of those things need to be combined and need to be submitted in one single file. And then I did put down here, just so you make sure that you do everything appropriately, the rubric, the rubric that I will be using to grade this assignment, just so you get an idea of what I would be looking for in this particular case. So again, you'll submit assignment and you will add your attachment. So one file. Mm -hmm. Everything throughout the semester needs to be attached as one document. Nothing should be attached as a photo or an image. So no .png or .jpg or anything like that. That will not be graded. It needs to be a single file combined. Mm -hmm. And again, we went over that in here. And I suggest um, going through that again if you're struggling with that. 
The next one is the lab assignment. In this case, again, typically you'll be doing an actual like hands-on lab based on one of the systems. Mm -hmm. In this case though, since it's the first week, you're gonna become used to the assignment for the semester. So you're going to do these three things, which includes a new type of file, which is a media file. Um, so in this case, what you're going to do is you're going to create a video of yourself and you're going to answer these specific questions in the video. And then you are going to submit to that video. So same thing, you're going to submit the assignment and then you're going to attach the, the assignment or attach your video that you made. Um, you may use the record or upload media option above your submission box. Um, it looks similar to a YouTube button so you can make the video right here in Canvas. Or you can just use your regular phone or tablet and use your camera and take a video. Um, make sure that it's done well um, in good lighting. I can see you, I can hear you, all of those things. Um, and then you will be uploading that. Okay. So that's your lab assignment. And then your last assignment we've already spoken about is the syllabus quiz. <clears throat> all of this information here I go over in the syllabus video. You can see that it has information that's important for you to know at the top, when it's due, how many points, how many questions, um, when you have to access it until, if there's a time limit, uh, attempts. So for quizzes, remember it's unlimited attempts, or maybe not remember, but once you watch the syllabus video, you'll know that it's unlimited attempts. And that this requires lockdown browser and monitor. Um, so <clears throat> when you take, a, take this quiz, um, and take any exams, you need to have these things downloaded. So you'll click on take the quiz and then it'll open up the quiz and you'll go through, make sure you click submit. Um, and then in order to get the lockdown browser and get monitor set up, I go over this in the syllabus, but what you'll do is you'll go through and you'll click take the quiz. What this will automatically do is get you to a place where it will request for you to download the browser and you can follow the prompts to do exactly that. That's why I'm not clicking on that right now. And then you'll take the quiz and then that will be something that's downloaded that you can use for future exams. And I do talk about that more in the syllabus videos. So those are the four assignments for this week. <clears throat> And hopefully that helped you out on understanding how to submit assignments, how to attach assignments. Um, and this will give you practice in doing all of those different things, including using the Respondus Lockdown browser. As soon as you complete that, then you'll have access to next week's materials, um, which you can start working on as soon as you would like. So you can kind of, in this course, I allow you to um, kind of move at your own pace. There are assignments that are due every single week and I go over that in the syllabus. So everything is due on Sunday nights by 11.59 p.m. Um, so there is a deadline for them, but if you complete things ahead of time, you can always work uh, ahead. Um, so if you know in a future week you're going to be busy or out of town or something, you can get yourself ahead so that you're not missing out um, on some particular due date. So you can keep that in mind as you work forward and you can see if I close these up that all of these things are available to you but with prerequisites. So making sure that you're completing each of these things ahead of time. All right, and then I do go through all of the different sections and assignments and syllabus, uh, or in the syllabus, and you can see the different exams here toward the end of the semester um, that will be available to you again after you've completed those prerequisites. So if you have any questions, um, please do post on the general questions discussion thread there. Um, so lots of people can answer the question as well. Um, or if you need to, you can text me or you can email me. <clears throat>